Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to run the protector test case through Eclipse. For running the protector test case, first we open the Eclipse ID. As Eclipse ID is already installed into my system, so I have opened. I am using the Eclipse Juno. You can use any version, Eclipse Juno, Luno or Neo. We will go into the help, then Eclipse Marketplace. Once Eclipse Marketplace is get opened, we search for the Angular JS ID. Angular JS Eclipse. As Angular JS Eclipse is necessary for running the protector test case, so here I have already installed the Angular JS Eclipse. That's why install is not coming. Only uninstall button is coming. But when you installing for the first time, then Instead of the update, there will install button will come. Once you install the Angular JS Eclipse, then create the JavaScript project through new JavaScript project. Give any project name here. I am giving project demo. Click on the next. and click on finish now the javascript project will get created and you are able to see on script explorer for running the protector test case we have to write the spec file spec file is needed for the writing the test cases and the con file is needed for the configuration later so for creating the spec and con file we will create one new file named it as a conf.js now we create a spec file new file spec.js Here we have completed our first step. Now we go into the node.js site for installing the node.js to our machine. So for installing the node.js, we go to the node.js site and as per our OS, we will install the 32-bit or 64-bit node.js MSI. As my system is 64-bit, so I will install the Windows installer.msi 64-bit. Once you will install this node.js, you will see the npm package manager and through npm package manager, you can install the protector. We have copied the conf and spec file code directly from the protector site. This is a conf file code and that this is a spec file code which we have copied just for showing the demo. So we have done with this first and second step. Now we are going to install the protector directly from the npm package manager. So this is a node.js command prompt which is also known as the npm package manager we go into the project path so it's present inside and then my project name now we we'll write the command npm install for installing the protector into the project local as you can see that it is installing the protector to our project local so it's taking around uh, one minute so it's taking time once the protector get installed you are able to see node modules folder inside our project local so I will click on the refresh and you can see the node modules folder is also visible here you can find the protector folder inside this node modules see this is protector which is available here so we are done with the first second and third step now we are going to 
install the web driver in starting the web drivers for installing the web driver we have to write the command web driver manager update into the command form and for in starting the web driver we have to write this web driver manager start into the command prompt but sometimes it happens that while installing the web driver you may get some error as i am facing so i may install it manually and paste this selenium standalone server inside the node modules so it's present here and i have also uh, uh, taken the chrome driver.exe and paste it here because I want to run my test case into the Chrome driver and I have gave the path for this Chrome driver in Selenium st server standalone inside the con file so you can see that I have given the Selenium server jar path and the Chrome driver path and if you are running for the first time then you have to convert your project into a ton project you can convert your project into a ton project by right clicking on the project then configure and select on the option convert to the turn project as my project is already converted to the turn project that's why the option is not coming for the convert to turn project but if you are running for the first time then you have to and there is an option is coming for the turn project you have to select that and then set up CLI part into the window preferences so we click on the window then preferences and you have to select the CLI.js part and click on the apply ok button so we are ready to start our test cases through clips we click on the con file then run as and then click on the protector now you can see that the selenium standalone server is get started and browser is get open chrome browser is get open and our test cases get started it's loading the page and it just get loaded and as you can see into the console that there we have run only the one spec so it's saying that the one spec is run and there is a no failure zero failure is coming it takes around 24.38 seconds to run that test cases so in this way you can run your all the test cases directly through eclipse